Thanks, guys. I'm joined now with Texan Safety, Justin Reed. Thanks for coming on the show. I appreciate you guys having me. So you have, you're heading into your second season, no longer a rookie. You don't have that title anymore. How does that feel? Oh, it's a great feeling to be able to put the rookie year kind of to the side. We don't have to do the rookie duties anymore, right. like clean up the weight room <laughs> or buy snacks for the room. That's a real thing. A little but it's rookie fun. hazing. Yeah, it's fun to be on the other <laughs> side of it now. Okay, so tell me about your off season. What's been going on? I know you had wrist surgery. You said you are feeling better. Do you think you're 100% quite yet? or Not quite 100%. I had wrist surgery early January, so I'm not 100% yet, but I'm expected to be back by the time that the season comes around. I'm really confident in that. So rookie season, you balled out. It was an amazing rookie season. Three interceptions, 70 solo tackles. You went eight games without a missed tackle. Mm -hmm. How do you build on that? Everyone says it's so important between year one and year two to make a big jump. Right. How do you do that? Right, and that, that is typically the time when you do make your biggest jump. Mm -hmm. um, so going into this year, one of the big things that is really different now, I feel like I get to start at a higher point than I was right. before. You know, before kind of just thrown into the fire and then you kind of just have to find your way. It's kind of sink or swim. But now I already have my boat in the, the way. The game you know, slowed down a little exactly. bit. Exactly, the game slowed yeah. down. I get to focus on familiar opponents now. Now I've played the Colts twice. I've played Jacksonville mm -hmm. twice. There are a lot of new teammates, though. The oh, defense yeah. looks different, Especially mostly the secondary. the secondary. Yeah, mostly Especially the secondary. the secondary. Tell me about those new guys. What does the room feel like now? You know, it's different than it was last year. We have Roby, we have T. Gip, we have Jaleel, we have Body. This year, we get to have more of an identity, mm -hmm. you know, which is which is really important for us. And you still have J. Joe holding it down. Still have J. Joe. <laughs> J. Joe's man. He's he's the wise man of the group. Yeah. He knows the scheme better than anybody, and he's he's been he's been a really good guy. So a lot of the guys and. To Sean Gibson, one of them, and I know Coach O'Brien, we've heard it from him so many times about just how intelligent of a football player you are, how high your football IQ is. What does that mean when you hear people say that, and how important have you found it to have a high IQ in the NFL? The first thing that I wanted to do when I first got into the organization was I really wanted to learn the playbook so that way I would be a reliable source of information for my teammate. Anytime there's a question in the room, I wanted to be the guy who had the answers for it, so that way my teammates would rely on me. Mm -hmm. And that's what I felt like I was able to do for my teammates, and, and that's what led to a lot of the trust and success that I had my rookie season. Where do you see this team going this season? What are the goals, especially for the defense, because I know that's the side you can control. Yeah. But do you think the sky is the limit for this team? I truly believe that the sky is the limit for us. I mean, we have all the right pieces there in the secondary on the defensive line, linebackers. We have one of the best quarterbacks in the league, the best wide receiver. He didn't drop a ball last season, not one. Yeah. You know, so we just have to come together, have all the pieces fit right, and then just see where it goes from there. What about the rest of the division? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to challenge you here. I want you to kind of tell me where, how you think this division plays out. Obviously, this is just for fun. We yeah. have no idea now, but um, this division just keeps getting tougher and tougher. The Colts, I think, I did very well last season. They're going to be a team that's going to be formidable, mm -hmm. as well as the Jaguars. Now they have Nick Foles. They have a, a really good quarterback, and as well as the Titans. I mean, the Titans did really well, especially on special teams last year. So for us, it's just finding those matchup problems and then being prepared each week to attack them and be ready for what they throw at us. So we talked about your high football IQ, but obviously you went to Stanford, high IQ regardless. You're a very intelligent person. <laughs> I appreciate that. Very Thank intelligent you. person. Tell me what you like to do off the field and what you kind of did this summer when you went back to school. You know, when I first came in the offseason, I was really into numbers. So I talked to my financial advisor all the time. I wanted to learn more about investing, stocks, mm -hmm. bonds. But lately, I started diving more into community efforts. So okay. what I do now in my free time is I try and go out and I speak to kids. I got an event next week in Baton Rouge where I'm going to donate backpacks, shoes, and jackets to over 250 That's kids. That's amazing. And it's great for you to use your platform now to do the community work as well while you're in the NFL. And yeah, stuff like that. thank you. That's awesome. So I want to end with showing, I think, your best NFL highlight so far. I don't know what okay. you think. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, over in Washington, this uh, okay, 101 yep. yard uh -huh. pick for the touchdown. You know, that was the first one of my career. So what's going through your head right now in this okay, moment? Okay, so when we first lined up, I see the formation there in the tray. So I line up inside on a snap of the ball. I moved to outside leverage. But the quarterback was getting rushed, so he threw it. But the tight end ended up sitting down. And at that point, I had already, already switched to outside leverage. The ball uh -huh. came right to me, man. It was just sitting up there, ready for me to pick it out of the air. And then at that point, it was just a race. And I was 
up that game, and I remember it was it was pretty cold, and I was thinking, how was he even breathing after this? Because you just did a hundred yards for a hundred one yards sprint. Yeah. Like, what was it like yeah. after when you go? You know, when when line? you're running, you're like you're running, and it's kind of surreal at the moment. You're just kind of running, you're just kind of doing it, uh -huh. and then afterwards, you're just full of uh, elation, a lot of energy. I had guys running off the bench. You know, Deshaun <laughs> ended up in the photo somehow. Yeah, Deshaun's you know, like, thank you so much and, for that. Yeah, by the way. exactly. And then uh, and then afterwards, that's when the Jawson hits you. I mean, yeah. you'll see me next in the next like 30 seconds after that clip. I'm on the sideline with the air mask on, yeah. like trying to get my air back. <laughs> well, that was awesome. Your whole rookie season was awesome. And I know all of Houston can't wait to see what you're going to do next year. So thank you for coming on. I really appreciate you. I appreciate you. you. Thank Hopefully you. I'm excited about it.